Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way! Oh, wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinsky. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam! You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Her huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no! How can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Isn't it more comfortable being a Roman than a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. <laughs> okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, 
Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. the forest now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is, like hide and seek. Catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. <gasps> what is that thing? It's funny. It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, I 
can't take any more of this. I promise I will never ever let you out of my sight again. <laughs> oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem, which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morse, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me! <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages. Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> <laughs> Salmon! Ah, yes! Wait till you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel! Oops, sorry! But it's really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. Help! Help me, Washington! You're the only one who can save this dental in distress. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are here! 
Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, huh? mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. Uh, uh. Ah! Honey? You won't believe what just happened. Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Tell me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf! 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 Woof! 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 Arf! Ahem. <clears throat> arf! 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 Woof! 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 Huh? Arf! Oh! Sam! Sam! Look out for those! You! ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. <clears throat> but I'm really stuck! <clears throat> there, saved. Perfect! Ha-ha! Uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys. Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. Oh, now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait! No, I... Uh... Ah! Our toys! I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was... <laughs> Wrong. Wrong? But how can it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah! Watch it! Ah! Help! 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 Huh? 
Ha, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie. Ah, Washington, help. Eugenie, Susie, they're falling. Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Oh man, I gotta help them! Chuck's always partying. I'm coming, buddies! It's over! Hang on, friends! Wash? <laughs> Watch, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, Albie! <laughs> Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot, weird dog! <laughs> Breaking news live! Hello again, Jean Francois! It's absolutely incredible! of a toy rescuer dog. <laughs> the mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time. This reward is great, honey, but couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> Don't forget the sunscreen! <laughs> What's up, Vic? Oh, don't you know? It's summer vacation. The oh. elves and I go away every year, and it's pretty great. Yeah? What's so great about it? Relaxation, duh. Do you know how exhausting it is being a house cat all year round? But if you don't like lounging around all day and 24-hour access to an all-you-can-eat buffet, then you wouldn't like it. You! An all-you-can-eat what? Did you just say what I think you said? We're going too, right? Of course! You can't very well stay home by yourselves, can you? Look, the pets are all lined up and ready to roll. Good thing, too. We've got to get you guys to the kennel. Oh, huh? the kennel. That's right. The vet said to arrive by noon. The k, -k, -k, -k kennel 
The what? The living stones go on their summer vacation to the kennel? I thought the kennel was for pets. It is for <gasps> pets. The elves are leaving us there. That could be fun. Did you not hear the part about the vet? The kennel is <gasps> his! going with them. Anyway, the kennel rocks. He'll love it. It's like a spa. You get groomed, brushed, bathed, <laughs> scratched, massaged. We can't get groomed. They'll see our zippers. Wait, wait. What about the all-you-can-eat buffet, huh? They keep a couple of big dishes of dry kibble out all day. It's not the greatest food, but it's there. Let's go. <gasps> oh. oh. What has gotten into you, pets? Come on, guys, we're gonna be late for vacation! Ah, Mrs. Livingstone! I'll take Victoria in for her first spa treatment, but you can just drop off these first time guests in the first room for a thorough exam. Thanks a bunch. See you guys in a week. Have a great vacation! Come on, guys! Hurry up! <laughs> the doctor will be right in. <laughs> we gotta think of something. If he gives us an exam, we're goners! Washington, Sam, Eugenie, and Sa That looks scary, huh? Some very distressing news? Your pets have gone missing for the moment? Your naughty pets have run away momentarily. We are doing our best to deal with this inconvenience. Quick! Okay! Hello, Animal Control. 
the wild animals? On your street? Hold on a sec. I know just the man to handle this situation. Uh, hello? Terrible that here. Hey, buddy. We spotted those wild animals over by the Livingstone's house, and we need your help. Do you still have your big game net from our college safari days? <laughs> Come on, lad. Get it. It's your only chance. <laughs> Darn, it's all over. The old chap is too scared. Why, yes, I do. I'll be right over. Nothing would make me happier than to catch those petting beasts. Oh, if only I wasn't such a baby. <gasps> oh, duty is calling, Vladimir. But I... That's impossible, Velma. But you don't understand. I'm afraid, for dog's sake. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm a coward. Pull yourself together, Vladimir. You're pathetic. Do I know you? It's me, silly Susie. Oh, sorry. I'm really relaxed. You gotta help us. Animal Control have Sam Washington and Eugenie cornered, and well, we need their costumes back. You, little Miss Victoria, are going home to the Living Stones. Hopefully your impressive grooming will distract them from the fact that all their other pets are missing. This is your chance, Vladimir! Be a man! And show some guts! Freeze! We've got you surrounded! You're going back to the forest! Looks like this is it, Sam. It was fun until right now, Wash. Remember that time I shoved candy up my nose and had to sneeze so bad and you guys... Here I am, and not a minute too soon! Oh. Oh. Oh, hey! Hey! What's going on? came straight away when we got your message. My car! We've got to find him, Doc! But... You've got to be brave, Mrs. L. <laughs> Don't throw the nets before we see the white of their eyes! We sure had some good times together, didn't we? We sure did! Susie! Victoria saves the day. Yeah! <laughs> Quick! <laughs> the suits! The suits? <laughs> Susie, do you have the suits? Me? No, they were with you in the cage. You must mm -hmm. be kidding. It was our very last chance. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> hey. It was easier to carry that way. Hey, what's happening? Away, but uh, this is where they ran to. Home sweet home. Looks like they were just missing you two. We, we miss, miss them, them too. I'm so <sighs> glad our kennel could bring you closer together. I hate to interrupt this happy scene, folks, but we've still got some wild animals to track and catch. Are you coming with us, Vladimir? Uh, me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yahoo! <laughs> You know, honey. Yes, dear. Sometimes we forget just how good we have it right here at home. What would you think of a staycation? Exactly. What's more fun than staying right here and hanging out with our awesome pets? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for this family. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. Hmm. Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good, stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two, bug off! Tatnam is for real cats! I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? <laughs> it's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Uh, sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having cheat cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> I'd say the perfect 
perfume cat sand. Look glamorous. Or is it? How about the bedazzled litter box? Too personal. <laughs> the winner gets extra birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, you okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <sighs> Nice throne! What do you want? I said, nice throne! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we want it! Little birdie talk big, but can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? <laughs> Sam? Yes, a minute. It's almost done. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! 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 I'm leaving for bingo. Don't I'll be home soon. It's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> For you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get back! Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away. Get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not, gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Please, we just want to. Troublemakers, three crazed cats. Come on, let's get them. Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah! Sam, let's.
Let's go! No! This is all your fault, Victoria. It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> You owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Stubborn wild ones, you guys just don't get it. You're not supposed to be here. It's not natural. You're coming back with me to the forest where you belong. <laughs> ah! Save me! Save me! Stop, evil space dog! You will not take Princess Gracie from a peaceful planet. I'll fight you to the end to protect her! <laughs> woof, woof, woof! Row! Woof! Uh, that's the most evil plan I've ever heard! Huh? Awful! Freaky! <sighs> Honey, don't worry, they'll be fine! You really think so? Of course, they did fine the last time we left them, and it's barely two days! They've got plenty of food and water! <laughs> I guess you're right! <laughs> <laughs> are gonna stay home the whole weekend by yourselves. Come on, honey, we can't miss our reservation. The oysters are calling me. We'll be back before you know it. You guys be good. Oops, the dry cleaning. Yes, Mrs. L, we'll pick it up and drop it off within 24 hours, guaranteed. Oh, well, we won't be here tomorrow. Can you just drop it in the backyard? Backyard, got it, Mrs. L. Yes! <gasps> Two whole days to relax, oh natural! Grossness! May I suggest you get these cleaned while you have the chance? The laundry guy will be here soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so bad I can't even see. <laughs> yeah, probably time <laughs> to freshen these up. Delicious! This is exactly what I've been dreaming of the last few weeks. And it's so romantic. Uh. Uh. Honey, I feel a little weird. Yeah, things are looking kind of 
Strange. Uh. Uh oh. Let's go back home before it gets worse. Uh. Oh, this is great. I forgot how much fun it is to scratch all day. Oh, yeah. Massive scratching. <laughs> Yeah, you can scratch those hard to reach places. Yeah, it's nice to also be our normal selves a little bit too. <laughs> ah. Oh, you're right. To be wild without being in the wild. Yeah, we can be totally wild. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you doing? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotchy and red? No, why? I thought maybe I was having a fever dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. We're just having some fun. Join us. Uh, no. House cats do not act wild. Oh, there's gotta be a lioness in there somewhere. Oh, come on, give me a big cat roar. Meow? That's all you got? Please. Meow! Oh, Vicky! Oh, that felt really good. Yeah! yeah. Wow, well, Vic! Sick because I'm seeing crazy things right now. Really sick. Seeing things? Do I look pale and green and sweaty all over? Are my eyes blotching red? No. Why? I thought maybe I was having a fever oh. dream. All this wildness around me is all just too weird. I've got an idea. It's a long shot, but it's the only one we've got. We're gonna have to stall them as long as we possibly can until our costumes arrive. But also... They'll think it was all just a really weird fever dream. <laughs> Stop, evil villains! Unhand the princess! Help me! Help me! Ah! <laughs> Take me to your leader! I'm taking over the planet! Help me, help me! I'm a wild, wild lion, and you are my prey!
going to be wild? You're all coming back with me! To the forest where you belong! Oh? Feels kind of real for a dream. <gasps> Guys, you carry the elves back to the bedroom. I'll distract Mitch and get him out of here. Hopefully, before the laundry arrives. Because if the laundry man sees Mitch, he'll freak out and we might not get our costumes back. Hey, Mitch! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I'm gonna get you! I finally got you! <laughs> Goodbye! Have a nice trip! in our house. What? Me too. But there were also weird spaceships and monsters in mine. Me too. What? <sighs> it was all just a crazy dream. Oh, you smell just like a fresh pillow. Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Wild they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We've got to do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. 
<laughs> wow! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> my tail! My beautiful fat tail! Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well, worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. <laughs> Never mind. Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam, Washington, uh, uh what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. Ooh. Is it a hot dog? A dead flower? I don't know, it's a U-turn. It's a tail. Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh, Amazing. Uh, There's like a castle in here. What's happened? Wow. Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano. <laughs> hey, Victoria. Have you, by any chance, seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam. Fluffy, no! Hey, at least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam, wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No, oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. Because the sun is shining and it's a brand old day. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Uh -huh. Okay, step one of Operation Tail, infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes, this is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this.
glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really like that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. Sam! A giant talking sock! Ah! Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Roll! Figure us out. You're allowed to in this couch. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're going to help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll, uh, take the stairs. Huh? Oh. Wow! Amazing! Okay, let's go! You sure? Don't worry. Ha-ha, <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, they need me. Well, I think it's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. <laughs> We did it, Washington, we did it! I can't believe it! Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello, mm -hmm. I helped too, you're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we 
still have to keep our secret. needs a little solo time. Ah, speed up! Oh, yay! Group walk. Wash, do we have a dog door or a cat mm -hmm. flap? Uh, well, technically... And why are there bird doors? Because generally, people don't like their pet birds going out. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's just Alvarez digging. I didn't know dogs dug. You didn't? You didn't either. Sure it did. Oh, fine. Well, guess who else is great at digging? You. Me. Hello, I'm a fox. We dig from diapers. So I can spend the afternoon doing something I love and impressing the elves with some very convincing canine behavior. Hmm. I thought we were going to watch the Adventure Brothers Marathon Season 1. Sorry, pal. Opportunity knocks. We'll help, <laughs> Wash. Your paws and claws are too little to dig anything important. Actually, they can help. How about you two go find me a nice big bone to bury? Something that'll make a statement. Copy that. Great. Oh. Thanks a lot. Oh, Sam, you think I want to spend the whole day working? Playing the role of a great dog takes work, you know? Fine. I'll be inside. Sitting on the couch and watching the show. Like a great cat. <gasps> Any old dog can make a hole. Way to the living stone, see this! Look, you kid! The marathon is starting! Let's kick! Be in soon, buddy! <laughs> this is great! Finally, my own den, where I can relax and be a fox. But I gotta make it my own. My man cave. <laughs> Not bad, but the iced tea needs ice cubes. Fluff, Washington's doing something weird. What's new? Washington! Oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hey, Sam. What is up with you? You said you were coming in soon. Sorry, but Mr. and Mrs. L never showed up, and I ended up digging more than I expected. I dug a fox den. What? Let me see. I can't. It's my man cave uh, for thinking about life and stuff. What? All alone? Without me? Sammy, you're my best pal. I just need a private place to relax. Stay in touch with my fox side. Sure, I get it. Later, too. <sighs> I'm his everything. Finally, a safe place to hang my photos. <sighs> but it still needs a certain something. <laughs> What's he doing in that hole? Why does it just keep burying stuff and not covering it? Yeah, he's kind of interesting. Wait, you think Washington is interesting? No, what? Ugh, of course not. Uh, come on. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Should have done this months ago. Um. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. 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 What do you want? What are you doing down there? I lost something? You're acting weird. Yeah. Just what are you up to? Washington? Digging? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Uh-oh, you dug a great big hole. Oh, wow, it's a tunnel. Very impressive. <laughs> but very, very bad, bad dog. We're very disappointed. Time for a timeout. I hope you think about your behavior, mister. Sam! Sam! Come on, help! Ken, I'm at a quick commercial break. Anyway, I wouldn't want to interfere with your alone time. See you later, dummy. Yes, let's go. No! My stuff! My fox photos! <laughs> Let's go! We're stuck, dummy. We're too fat to fit. But you're below me. Shut up. Push! No! This was a dumb idea, Nugget. I know, Fluff. I forgive you. We found an awesome boat! Susie, come here, girls. Did you hear that? Must be the echo. Echo who? Huh? Hey! I have to get out of here. Fluffy may be discovering the truth about us this very minute. What? They went down the hole. If they find my fox den, we're finished. I pasted up a bunch of our old pictures down there. Uh, you did? You put up pictures of us? Together? Yeah, of course. I thought you wanted to get away from me. No, jeez. I just wanted a little alone time. Can a guy get a little alone time? Best friendship reinstated. Yeah. <laughs> But we gotta dig! Lucky, lucky. It is you! Are you snooping? Shh. Of course you're not, because there's nothing to snoop! But don't touch anything! We're coming! Washington? No dig! No dig! Bad boy! We've got a digger! Digger, reveal yourself! Oh, and my kittens are missing! You've got to find them! Sam, get the girls and bring them back you know where. I need help. Fluffy, I have something to tell you. I ate that can of tuna you were saving. Nugget! I stole that can of tuna from Victoria, but it was still mine! <laughs> Okay, guys, time for action. We need to get the girls before they get to my place. Everybody dig, now! Just need a little break. Whoa! This place doesn't seem so safe anymore. Hello, girls. <laughs> You're stuck. I mean, 
you're stuck. Help! Now! First things first, what were you snooping around for? To get you in trouble. We fell in. Just get us out of here, please. Oh, please, watch Okay, guys, get up. No time to sleep. Fluffy, nugget. So, promise you'll never come near my man cave again. Never. Let's move out. Huh? Oh, look. He saved the cats. That's why he was digging. Oh, Washington! We owe you a big apology, boy! Oh, thank you, Bannington. Waddington, whatever your name is. In the form of a sandwich! Here it is. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are... How can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts! You'd better go before we laugh to death! <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only gonna enter the show, I'm gonna win this thing! Come on, guys! I found one! I found one! A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show! Way to go, Sam! Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Oh, come on! Don't be like that! Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, spinach nut cake. I'm off. What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me. Royal K? 
Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash, maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Wash we, I mean, you are going to win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three-hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash the royal kibble king? That's right. I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it. Zip. Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me the vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This fox uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. I guess we withdraw. He's usually very obedient. I... I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now 
Now that's my dog. Uh, has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! Now here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. Ah! A wild boar! <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and dogs, it has just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! <laughs> Commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Oh, perfect name, honey. After all, he is 
Just a baby! <laughs> okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. <laughs> Aww, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. <laughs> not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Hungry! Mm. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. <laughs> oh, a tiny lake. Gross. What? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> ah, yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. <laughs> she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> Get them. For him. Baby's going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, um, uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony together. <laughs> I'm 
not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house. Except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. <laughs> oh, oh, no! no! You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't... I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Is there anything we can do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait! Tear costumes off! It's a chance we'll have to take! Hungry! <clears throat> oh, I forgot I ate it all! Ah. Hmm. Hmm. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid! so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it. Oh. <sighs> well, 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 what do we got here? You're looking a bit lost, big fella. We're gonna take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Phew. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. Mm. 
this out. Hey, Washington, trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two, what month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, oh, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me, love my smell. This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret thanks to Sam Stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! And we need some boar freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha <laughs> ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! no! A roll of toilet paper. No! no! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> That is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's, it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But, but I love it. I love you. Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> Have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can't commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scuttlebutt. Before we... <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe! You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no! Hurry up! We have to go to his place right now! Come on! <sighs> Sam's steak is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, fans! Oh, ah, yeah! 
Eugenie, Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. No! <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... Oh, that stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Get it. Hey, get it over. Good kitty. No, no. The whole city loves me much too much. Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet. I'll do anything. Even a boring bath? <laughs> I'm ready. Bathe me. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? To dry clean. <laughs> that ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. <laughs> Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross! <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> So 
tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stain. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinara. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Blip, blip. Everything's gotta be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not gonna screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Gooper, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> Yuck! Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you, and worst of all, they talk baby talk! I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun! here. Don't you feel silly? <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Talon, I rocked. and their music. Snap out of it! He's gonna see us! 
Whew, that was close. <laughs> okay, we've got to keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. No, no, I know. Now you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> you guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly really, really bad for us. No. Don't give in! Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it! Got it? Yes! yes. Don't, don't give in! 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 No! Sam, Susie, Eugenie, Washington, our guests are here! Here, pets! Come on! Come on! We've got to get back in there like nice, normal pets! We can do this! You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome! Let me take your coat! <laughs> this is stressing me out! Me too! If that music comes back, we're toast! Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You... I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry! Oh, girls! We're gonna need music for this! <laughs> just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Uh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <laughs> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. 
I've got to stop that music. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! What's happening in here? Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. <sighs> I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. <laughs> oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? Mm -hmm. No! Come on! Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Tunnel, a surprise obstacle awaits on the other side. How exciting! Oh no! And the winner of the race will receive a year supply of pet food! A year supply? until now. 
Well, I think it's time for me to fade out. That kind of partying stuff, that's really not my cup of tea. <laughs> oh. oh, Vicky! Oh, no! Alfie! <laughs> I see you, wild ones. You're coming back with me into the forest where you belong. <laughs>
Wait! Hmm. Ah. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> huh? Where did the racetrack go? Watch out! Are you nuts? Huh? Where are you going? I got you! <laughs> Sam, you okay? Mm -hmm. I know you're still here, and I can smell each and every one of you. Where's the rest of the gang? You're all staying here in the wild, like real animals, where you belong. But we're too fancy for life in the wild. Huh? Here before he wakes up. Huh? Wait! Where's Gracie and Alfie? Mm -hmm. And Vic! Who cares? You supply a pet food, remember? Ta-ta! Wow, what a jerk! <laughs> Wait for me! I'll go and check! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Absolutely. You're gonna help uh, them. You sure? Phew! <laughs> 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 that was too close. Thanks, Vic. I never doubted you for a second. Not even for a second? Not for a single second. Vicky! Kitty! Vicky Kitty! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! That's ridiculous. We didn't come from over there. We came from over there. Everybody knows that cats have an excellent sense of direction. Please, you're an alley cat. As if you know which way to go. You can't even decide how to run for your life. <laughs> Everybody shush it! You 
shushin. We gotta dig our way out, I'm telling you. We need to start digging our way out of here. You heard me, dig. I say we just run, anyway, as long as we're not here. I knew you'd come back. How about we ditch these dweebs and run off to Paris? No! <laughs> uh -oh. Everybody stick together and follow me! Uh-oh, 
Not so fast, my little rodent friend. That year's supply of pet food is mine. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> Sausage is definitely the worst to ever walk the earth. <laughs> you did it, boy! We won! Uh, not exactly. The rules clearly state the first animal to cross the finish line wins. This year's supply of pet food goes to the goldfish. <laughs> are the best. Yeah? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> woof, woof, <laughs> woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. Weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you just need someone to show you how. See Washington? Like this! <laughs> 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 I, uh, I'm showing my dog how to wag his, uh... Better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! <sighs> uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. Huh? After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah, something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Hmm. 
Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. No, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Well, I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry. You're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> Just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Mm -hmm. uh, hi! <laughs> huh? Doc, it's me, Mr. Owl. He's worse off than we thought. Washington is <laughs> wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor. What's wrong with him? Oh, ah. Now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam. It's a cat toy filled with catnip. It's for cats. Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. Look what we found! <laughs> What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You, Kate, whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <gasps> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. Oh, no! What? 
Washington's really losing it! <laughs> we may not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Oh, 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 oh. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Yay! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I did. It's not every night your boss comes to dinner. Honey, you're a genius. Who doesn't love truffles, right? They cost a fortune, but... <laughs> These babies are gonna get me a tasty raise. The boss man will be very impressed. <laughs> you better keep your little nose out of these, Miss Victoria. So look, it's super simple. First, you throw it to the quarterback, who throws it to the runner over here. Hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Football is fun! Get it! Yeah, you got it! Yes! Hmm, that smell. What is that? Why is that so familiar? Uh, what's up with Sam? Oh, no! I remember it now. That smell is the smell of truffles! Those precious truffles, they're nothing but trouble. They turn Sam into a maniac. They are his one true love. He loses control around them. Of course, there's not a wild boar in the world that can resist a truffle once he gets a taste. Yeah, we all love that smell, but you're gonna have to find a way to control him. Because guess who else is crazy for truffles? Babarusas? Mm -hmm. Humans! They cost a fortune! Mm, you don't say. I do. Mr. L's boss is coming to dinner tonight, and those truffles are for him. So if Sam so much as sneaks a nibble, they'll freak. <laughs> <laughs> What about Eugenie? She's never tasted one, so it shouldn't be a problem. But this is not good. Girls, go get me anything you can find to plug up his nose, quick! Hey, buddy, what's up? Come on, <laughs> relax, take a deep breath. I thought we could find. This is for your own good, dude. <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I cured myself of balls of yarn with hypnosis. Let me handle this. Look at me. You do not like truffles. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah, that really worked great. 
Truffles! 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 Sam, please! Stop! Why did you do that? My truffle tagliatelle is going to be divine if I do say so myself. Mm. <laughs> oh, no! I just couldn't control myself. Sorry. If you're sorry, you better make it clear you did it before we all get in trouble. We can be kicked out or even abandoned for less than that. Let's not be so dramatic. If he doesn't own up, I'll expose you and it'll be back to the forest for everybody. She's right, Wash. It's all my fault. I'm the one who should be punished. Wait, there's got to be another solution. Doubt it. I mean, we know where to find more. And where would that be? In the forest, a.k.a. our old neighborhood. We should be able to go and get back before dinner. Yeah, well, I don't see how you'll ever get enough. No problem. I've got the best truffle detector in the whole world. Sam's snout. Yeah? How are you going to keep him from eating them once he smells them? Working on it. What was that noise? It's nothing. Nothing but nice, fun nature. Okay, let's get going. Wait, don't the truffles only grow near... Yes, Mitch's cave. That's the one little thing. If Mrs. L comes back before those dummies return, I'm the only one who's going to get in trouble. We'll help you. We don't want you to get punished. You're going to help me keep her out of the kitchen. I've got a couple awesome ideas, naturally. Ready? Go! <laughs> Woolwash, thanks for keeping me out of trouble. No probs, bro. That's what best friends are for. <laughs> Did someone say best friend? I knew it was you guys. <laughs> you missed Mitch, didn't you? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> hey, Mitch, what a nice surprise. <laughs> and now we'll never, ever get separated again. No, seriously, Mitch, we're in a hurry. Okay. Salad fork, truffle fork, steak knife. Okay, just keep Mrs. L out of the kitchen for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. No, Eugenie, I'll play with you later, Bunny. Out of the way now. Setting the table. Oh, the stress is getting to me. You guys can move in with me and do everything I say. It'll be great. You can bring me human food. Mm -hmm. huh? I should tie you up. Maybe you'd like to hang upside down from the tree all night. Oh, you guys want some cricket cookies? Hold on. I forget what a bad temper he has. No kidding. Remember the time we went swimming with him? <laughs> mm? <gasps> oh, you bought snacks. No. <laughs> it's not for you right now. <sighs> it's for after... After the show. Huh? What show? Uh, yeah, what show? The show to celebrate our reunion, Sam. The one we talked about? What are you talking about? We never talked about a show. <laughs> anyway, showtime. Sam, why don't we start with a song? Uh, okay. I know Fairy Jacka. Okay. <laughs> Enough! My turn. I'm gonna do a wonderful magic trick. Choose a card. Any card. <laughs> no 
honey. No, I'm busy. I'll play with you later. No, don't! You're gonna make me lose my balance! I've got just enough time to go and get new flowers. And you, little rascals, are going to go play in the yard. Shoot! Shoot! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! My nose is starting to itch. Oh, hey, Mitch, I know a great magic trick, too. You do? Watch closely. I'm gonna go all around the cave without touching the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, right. Sam? Hocus pocus, flying fungus. Ah. <laughs> truffles, truffles, truffles. Bravo! Is this part of the trick? Hey, you get back here and have more fun. Wow, best magic trick ever. Truffles! 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 We're coming! <laughs> what are you doing in here, you little rascal? Get away from my truffles! Okay, time to cook now. Come on, honey. How could you know your boss was allergic to truffles? Uh, my career is over. Quite possible. But what am I going to do with all of this now? Animals, come in here! <laughs> no point in letting the rest go to waste. Someone should enjoy my masterpiece while it's fresh. Well, you are officially the most spoiled pets in the neighborhood. <laughs> bon appétit, little ones. <laughs> about these things anyway. <laughs> 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 